This is a video I want to make it of what I made on my Ryobi scroll saw that I got replaced at Home Depot because something had broke on it. And um, some of them I rounded over with my um, rigid brushless palm router using a round over bit. These ain't finished yet. I got to sand them. This is a bunny with this whole bow tie. I just use um, cookie cutters when I make them and I just trace them out and then I cut them. Now, there's an imperfection right there, but I don't care for that. Because I don't go for perfect when I make them. But when I get through, I will finish rounding it over and smoothing it out and getting it as flat as I can. And more rounded, and then I'll be through. But the reason I don't go for perfection on these is because um, it gives it more of that old antique hand look. And, by the way, this is out of Oriental Cedar. It's an Oriental Cedar tree. That is that one. This is the other bunny I did. Right there. And then, I did this one. Right here. Of another stocking. These will just get spray lacquer put on them only. No paint. There's a little flaw right there, but I could put some wood putty in there and sand it and fill that in and it'll look fine. This one's out of poplar wood that I did. Wood called poplar. That's of a duck. This is a tiny little dog. You have to have a scroll saw when you do something like this. Out of the same cedar. The rest of these, most of these are out, all out of cedar. This is a pig. And it does have a little flaw in the back, which don't bother me. This one is another one that I got up um, to. Out of cedar. This is a train I did out of cedar. Once I get through with it, it'll be perfectly flat. I'll show you what one of them looked like I'm done out of this. It was perfectly smoothed out and everything. It wasn't perfect. This is a little gingerbread girl. And I did. The back of her. You can see the sides. This is a little gingerbread boy. That's the back. Another gingerbread boy. Now I'll show you where I mean by it's uneven, but it will be flat when I get through with it, and you will never notice that. And here's another gingerbread girl that I did. And then these are some kind of stars. One of them, it ain't perfect, but I don't care. And here's another star. These are, um, I think, um, like holy stars or something. I don't know. This one, I finally did one super thin of this. And it's of a reindeer. Which is really nice. And then this one is, um, an ornament. Now, the flaw that it has here, I did not notice it when I was cutting it out, but when I get it smooth, you probably really won't never notice that. And that's that right there, where it had a little bad knot, you know, and I didn't know that was on there. Now, something else I made out of um, poplar wood was this. Huge stocking. I'm going to put something on it in the middle and all. But I cut out of something else I had, and then I just took a, um, I just got to round up, just smooth it off right here on the sides a little bit, and I'm done. But I rounded it over with a, um, rigid palm router by setting the depth where it, um, would just make it rounded, and that's it. Now, I did these with the rigid palm router after I had, um, cut them out on the real B scroll saw and gave them a good sanding. And they're made of, um, oriental cedar. They're pigs. Now, they were kind of bowing out to where that, um, head, where the head was going towards the left and, um, I mean towards the right. And the, um, back, the, um, back part was going towards the, um, um, was going towards the left. But after I smoothed them out, I got them perfectly straight. But now, when you do round over the cedar, you gotta be careful. You have to turn the, um, if you got a speed dial on your palm router, turn it down, because if you don't, if you can't, if you can see it, you can, um, get like these right here, these little notches and stuff in there. That's just where it tears the wood a little bit. 
because um cedar is a little um is a real um delicate light wood it can tear easy. Here's another one. Once I put spray lacquer on these, they'll come out um looking really really shiny. And I'll probably put three coats of spray lacquer on here and, and um sand with four hundred and um, fifty grit in between. I mean not fifty, four hundred grit sandpaper in between on my Ryobi Random Orbo um sander that's cordless and get it smooth and then I'll just do a little bit over around the sides by hand and um it'll get it real shiny and glossy looking. But before I do that I will put a um little hole in the center to put a piece of string in so you can hang it on a tree if you want to. Well anybody can hang it on a tree. Hope you like it. Peace out.